Hello. In this introductory video tutorial of the Espen Energy Analyzer, we will simulate a simple two stream problem. So we have this cold stream, it is available at 40 degrees C, and we want to raise the temperature to 110 degrees C, and uh, it requires 14 megawatt. And uh, we have a hard stream. The supply temperature is 160 degrees C and we want to achieve the target of 40 degrees C and in order to achieve this target 12 megawatts need to be removed from this hot streams. So prior to the energy recovery the steam was used to heat the cold steam and uh, the cooling water was used to uh, cool this hot stream. So now we are asked to use uh, S1 energy analyzer to determine the energy targets for delta T min is equal to 10 degrees C and delta T minimum is equal to 20 degrees C. That means that if these two, two streams are meshed and uh, what will be the heat recovery and after the heat recovery how much heating utility will be required and how much uh, cooling utility will be required. So uh, we will uh, do this uh, analysis in S1 energy analyzer. So open Aspen Energy Analyzer. Aspen Energy Analyzer. This is the window of Aspen Energy Analyzer. Click on the features. Click on the HI project, heat integration project. And uh, here we have to enter the process stream data, data for the process stream. So we have a cold stream is available at uh, 40 degree C okay if the temperature is given in PL1 or Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit so you can change the uh, units from here and you can also have a customized uh, unit sets just uh, click on this tools click on the preferences variable and uh, here is the units of uh, different properties so you may have a customized uh, unit sets as well and now uh, uh, this uh, enthalpy is given as 12 megawatt so from this drop down list you can actually change the uh, units of the enthalpy okay this is this was 14 megawatt for the cold stream 14 megawatt Okay, uh, we have actually not supplied the target temperature, so target temperature is 110 degree C and the uh, enthalpy is a uh, 14 megawatt. Now enter the data for the hard stream, so hard stream is available at uh, 160 degree C, the target temperature is 40 degree C and uh, the enthalpy is 12 megawatt. So here you can see the graph of the composite curves this is the hard stream and this is the cold stream okay. if you want to change the axis of this graph just right click click on the graph control go to the axis and uh, deselect this auto scale let's suppose i want to start from 0 degree c and uh, up to 180 degree c so now you can see that uh, the temperature axis is from 0 to 180 degree c and you can also change the title and the legends now uh, this composite curve is for the uh, 10 degree C delta T minimum is equal to 10 degree C and uh, if you click on the target so the heating utility requirement is 3 megawatt and the cooling utility requirement is 1 megawatt when the delta T minimum is 10 degree C let me magnify this uh, okay so here you can see that the energy targets 3 megawatt and 1 megawatt and the pinch point lies at uh, for the hard 50 degree C and for the cold 40 degree C that means that, they at, that at the pinch point uh, the temperature of the cool steam is 40 degree C and the uh, temperature of the hard steam is uh, 50 degree C so if I want to uh, see the energy targets for 20 degrees C, so just uh, 20 degrees C here, 
now the heating utility requirement is 4 megawatt and the cooling utility requirement is 2 megawatt and uh, this is the pinch temperature hot is 60 degree c and cold is 40 degree c you can see that uh, uh, when the delta t minimum is 20 degree c so the pinch temperature of the hot steam is now 60 degrees now we have another case where uh, multiple hot and cold streams are involved so we have two hot steam and uh, two cold stream the supply and the target temperature and the enthalpy and the heat capacity flow rate uh, are given and uh, we are asked to use the energy analyzer to determine the energy targets for 10 degree c and uh, 20 degree c so just uh, okay just go to the features click on hi project a new hi project and enter the data of the streams so i am entering the data of the stream as a c1 c1 is the cold stream number one it is available at 20 degree c and the target temperature is 180 degree c Okay, if the MCP is given, so type the MCP or um, you can type the enthalpy, it will calculate the MCP. So the enthalpy is given as uh, 32 megawatt, 32 megawatt and uh, cold stream number 2, C2. So the inlet temperature is uh, 140 degree C. 140 degree C and uh, the outlet temperature is to 30 degree C and the enthalpy is 27 megawatt okay similarly enter the data for the hard stream hard stream 1 and the hard stream 1 is available at 250 degree C and the target temperature is a uh, 40 degree C the enthalpy is uh, 31.5 megawatt 31.5 megawatt another hard steam hard steam number two it is available at uh, 200 degree c and the target temperature is 80 degree c and the enthalpy is 30 megawatt and uh, the delta t minimum by depart the value is 10 degree c so this is the composite curves for the uh, delta t minimum is equal to 20 degree c and uh, <coughs> you can uh, check the energy targets from just click on the targets okay and uh, 7.5 heating utility requirement is 7.5 megawatt and cooling utility requirement is 10 megawatt and the pinch lies at uh, this temperature 150 for the hot and 140 for the cold so the pinch temperature is almost here where the hot temperature is 150 degree c and the cold temperature is 140 degrees and uh, you can also check this for 20 degrees c so just type 20 here and you can see that uh, uh, the heating utility is now 11.5 and the cooling utility is now 14 megawatt and uh, the pinch temperature of the cold is now 140 and the heart is uh, 160 degrees C. Thank you very much.